Hello everyone, welcome to program to know Spiritism, broadcasting live from, from Belo Horizonte, Brazil, at the Portal Saber Espiritismo studio. I'm here with Marco Gandra, and we are going to continue studying about Chico Xavier's uh, work. Uh, today is the 11th program that we talk about Chico. Please, Gandra, uh, we are now continuing uh, to understand Chico Xavier's role in the tra planetary transition. And we discover a very interesting uh, mediumship uh, writing that was done in 1920. Please, Gandra two slides from there and the next one yes uh, it, it was received the next please Gandra. and then it was received by the medium albino teixeira in the city of rio de janeiro in april 1920 and the spirit that wrote through the medium Albino Teixeira was Ismael. Ismael, as we all know, is the guide for Brazil. And it was published in the, the magazine Reformador of Spiritist, Brazilian Spiritist Federation, FEB, Federação Espírita Brasileira, in its issue of April 1920 and the spirit the spirit wrote the tree of the gospel sown in Palestine 2000 years ago I have transplanted it to the land of the Holy Cross where my gaze settles nourishing in my spirit hope that soon will flourish extending its branches everywhere and bearing major fruits of love and forgiveness. This is very uh, touching and very neat because uh, the Spirit was telling us about the tree of the gospel that was transplanted to the heart of Brazil and soon it would flourish and bearing major fruits of love and forgiveness. And if we see the date, April 1920, we understand that Chico Xavier at that time was only 10 years old. And seven years later, in 1927, he would initiate his mediumship mandate. So this was a prophecy uh, done by the, by the guide of Brazil, the spirit of Ismael, through the medium Albino Teixeira. And it was done in the very uh, close mediums uh, uh, group of the Federação Espírita Brasileira, the, the Espiritist Federation of Brazil, uh, in, in a way that they could foresee uh, the coming of a new era for its spiritism. And as you know, and I have just told you, in 1927, Chico Xavier began psychographing. The first messages that he received was written by his own mother, Maria de São João de Deus, and although it was published as his second book, uh, those were the, his first works. And uh, they were published as in 1935 as the book Cartas de uma Morta, that's in English, Letters from a Dead Woman. And in one time, uh, in, in the middle of the book, we can see uh, 
the mentor of Chico's mother, telling her, it is up to us to operate the great movement of restoration of the pure beliefs so that we can understand the very focus that the higher spirits were, were working to perform through her son, Chico Xavier. The, the, it, uh, it is up to them, it was up to them to operate the great movement of restoration of pure beliefs. And that's so, so the same for the whole spiritist, mo spiritist movement all over the world. And we should know this. In 1937, Chico Xavier published uh, this book from the spirit of Humberto de Campos, who in, whom were uh, in, in Rio de Janeiro a member of the uh, Brazilian Academy of Literature. Uh, Humberto de Campos were a very, very well-known writer. And after he, his death, uh, he started to write through Chico Xavier. On this book, published in 1937, uh, Chronicas de Além Tumulo, uh, in English is uh, Chronicles from Beyond, we can see this message, a very important message, please, Gandra. Uh, from the spirit of Humberto de Campos. There is merciful providence accompanying evolutionary outbreaks of the earth. And at the time, the social concussions throughout fair nature, the graves fill with voices and consoling revelations, realizing prophecies. Fascism, dictatorships to the proletariat, false democracies will have to disappear in the fight so that uh, fragors, politics fragors inaug inaugurate a spiritualist new law, the new law, the drivers of all phenomena of the economy of the people. The man will understand then the need for imperative of peace, of solidarity with the spiritual progress of other worlds. This is a very neat, very beautiful message from, from Umberto de Campos' spirit. And in a way, it is also a prophecy because he is stating that the, the, the the divine providence is accompanying is accompanying all the evolutionary process on earth although we face most of the time uh, difficult times difficult challenges and even in the the hardest times that he uh, refers like the time of social concussions uh, the, the, the higher spirits in the name of God would preside all the movements and the, all the voices from the grave, the consoling voices of the spirits that no longer live here on earth, but, but still accompanying us, still working with us, still uh, giving us strength they would give us also important revelations, realizing prophecies. And in a way, he is anticipating all the work of Chico Xavier. Uh, at that time when he wrote this message in 1937, Chico Xavier was only 10 years in the works of psychography and he would perform another 65 years of dedicated mediumship with Jesus and the Spiritism. And uh, in the whole, he 
would psych psychograph and publish more than 525 books. And in those books, we can certainly find many prophecies, many consoling revelations, many inf important informations about our lives here on earth and about our relationship with the spirits of the spiritual world. And as also a prophecy, he is stating that all kinds of fascisms, all kinds of dictatorships, even though uh, uh, the ones with re regarding to the pro proletariat, all false democracies will have to disappear in the fight, in this political uh, mess that here on earth we would live on all through the 20th century and still living nowadays in the first years or first decades of the 21st century. But he also states that uh, the after those uh, difficulties, uh, the spiritual new law would embrace all humanity and will drive all the phenomena of the economy of the people and after that the man, all humankind will understand the imperative need of peace all over the world so that we could be in in a way in uh, uh, very much in, in solidarity with the spiritual progress of the other worlds that surrounds us. Very beautiful message from the spirit of Umberto de Campos. Uh, in the next one, we are now in 31st of March 1938 and in this message that we can find in the book Deus Conosco, God with us, uh, from Vinha de Luz Editora, Emmanuel, one of the, the, the spirits of the phalanx of the spirit of truth in the 19th century and the guide, the, the psychography guide for Chico Xavier's mediumship wrote in 30, 31st of March, the day that they were commemorating uh, the, 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 the anniversary of the death of Allan Kardec himself. He wrote, the invisible plan associated to your votive effort also met in other plans, trying to design a new clarity about the shadows of the ominous time that we now live. Yes, the great master's figure should be taken as a paradigm for the new workers. Very important message from the spirit of Emmanuel through Chico Xavier, stating that the invisible plan, the higher spirits, they were all working in other times, in other plans, projecting the coming of the Spiritist doctrine first in France in, 19, in the 19th century and then uh, the continuing process uh, of flourishing here in Brazil, the Spiritism. So, and uh, he also states that our Lord Jesus Christ, the great master's figure, should be taken as a paradigm for Hello everyone, I'm back again. I apologize for the interrupting. Uh, we had some uh, problems here but with the transmission, but we are back online. Uh, we are now a talking about the, the book, very important book of Chico Xavier that was published in 1939, A Caminho da Luz, The Pathway to Light, 
from the spirit of Emmanuel. And it has important information also about this time of transit, transition, the time of planetary transition. As we can see in the next slide, please, Gendra, uh, he says in the chapter 25, the gospel and the future, he says, he wrote, through Chico Xavier, but the time has come for a readjustment of all human values. If the painful collective atonement preludium for the time of the last pains of the re revelation, spirituality has to penetrate the achievements of the physical man, leading them to the good of all mankind. So, in this time of readjustment, the transitory uh, moment that we live in is a, a very important time for readjustment of all human values. That's all about transit, transitory time, the transition time for Earth. And it's very important that, as Emmanuel says, that the spirituality uh, penetrate our hearts and minds because only through spirituality we will have the achievements as physical bands, physical beings and most importantly the notion of our spiritual being leading us to the good of all mankind and Emmanuel also states in the next slide, please, Gandra. The times have come when the forces of evil will be forced to abandon their remaining position of dominance in the terrestri ter terrestrial environment. Uh, their last triumph are the sign of a fearful and unhappy reaction which try to spread the shadows that go over their perishing empire. So that's nowadays. He wrote that in 1939. As we can remember, it was before World War II, uh, before a time, a terrible time for humankind here on Earth. But it is still very up to date it is very valid nowadays that the times have come when the forces of evil will be forced to abandon their remaining positions of dominance in the terrestrial environment. In the next slide, uh, he explains himself. He states, dictators, economic hegemony, versatile and unconscious masses, unglory wars, secular organizations will pass with the vertical of a nightmare. The victory of the force is a clarity of fireworks. All reality is the spirit and all peace is the understanding of the kingdom of God and his right chosenness. Right chosenness. So, uh, we can foresee this. All kinds of dictatorships, all dictators, all kinds of economic hegemony all over the world, and also the, all the versatile and unconscious masses of the people, and all unglory wars here on our earth, and also all secular organizations, which uh, in its structures, we can find materialism. All of that will path with the vertical of a nightmare. And the victory of the force is a clarity of fireworks. It does not mean anything for the, the spiritual uh, 
kingdom. All the reality, as Emmanuel says and concludes, is the spirit and the, all peace that we could achieve is the one that de derives from understanding the kingdom of God and his laws. And also he states that in the next Yes, Emmanuel says, because after the dark, a new dawn will arise. Consoling lights will involve the entire orb regenerated in the baptism of suffering. Now we are seeing our hope, the hope of the new world that will come, because after the dark, and we can pretty much uh, state that the, the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century was the time of the dark. And we are now seeing the rise of a new dawn, the dawn of the new earth, the regenerated earth, the regenerated planet that will be here from around the middle of this 21st century on and it's a time of consoling lights that will inv involve all the planet and after that he, he stat states also that the spiritual individual will be attached to the physical one to his glorious march on the unlimited we are called to invest in the great labor and our most sublime duty is to respond to the calls of the chosen one and in in this time of regeneration the spiritual being will be one with the physical one so uh, materialism will be vanished from the face of earth because the spiritualism will be the paradigm, the new paradigm, not only for religion, not only for speculators of philosophies or philosophers, but mainly also to the scientific world, world to, the, to science, because science will progress and understand that we live after death, that there are other plans of living around the earth and also in other planets that we form a universal uh, family of spirits spreading all over the universe the known u universe and also the not known universes and we will understand that we all are brothers and sisters sons and daughters of God, and we shall be in peace, understanding each other and communicating with, our, with, with each other, uh, transmitting our knowledge and everything that uh, share, we share in our lives to, to make a greater world, a better world from the regeneration time on and uh, our most most sublime duty as Emmanuel states is to respond the calls from Jesus Christ that he he states is the chosen one and this is pretty much our talk today and I'd like to thank you for listening and we are here in various platforms. Uh, we are live from Belo Horizonte, Brazil, at the Portal Saber Espiritism. Uh, oh, the uh, to know to know Spiritism portal. Uh, we also are live for the ESN Discovery Spiritism Network in Florida, and also we are live for Kardec Radio in Virginia.
we thank you, me and Marco Gandra here with me. We thank you all and see you next week. Good night.